This video is the second in a series of tutorials on biological nomenclature. The first in this series was a general introduction to nomenclature. In the general introduction, you learned about the history of gene, strain, and QTL nomenclature. In this video, we will focus on gene nomenclature. So why is gene nomenclature so important? Consider the Shakespearean quote, that which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. That sentiment relies on the sense of smell to correct for any error in naming of the object in question. Genes identified in the biomedical literature are not always accompanied by data that corroborates the gene's identity, so accurate nomenclature is important for proper communication. This means that in the case of genes, a gene by any other name might be a little confusing. For example, there are four rat genes listed in this table. Only one of them has the official symbol DBP. However, at some point in time, all of the genes have been identified by the symbol DBP. That creates a fair amount of confusion, especially with automated searches of the biomedical literature. General requirements for gene nomenclature are as follows. As much as possible, genes, symbols, and names should be unique within the nomenclature of a single species. Gene symbols should be between 3 and 10 characters in length, representing a short form of the gene name. Ideally, the name reflects the function of the gene product. If the gene belongs to a family of genes, the name should be consistent with the names of the other family members. Responsibility for official gene nomenclature for the various species found in scientific literature has been taken up by specific genome organizations and genome databases. Human nomenclature serves as the model for the gene nomenclature of other vertebrate species. The Hugo Gene Nomenclature Committee, or HGNC, determines official gene nomenclature for Homo sapiens, and usually the gene names for orthologs and other species is copied from the corresponding human gene. Generally, gene nomenclature is decided by HGNC and picked up by Mouse Genome Informatics, or MGI, and the Rat Genome Database, or RGD. However, when a gene is discovered first in mouse or rat, the nomenclature propagation may go in the opposite direction. Whenever nomenclature for gene families changes, discussion among the three nomenclature committees is used to decide what works best for everyone involved. The research community is also consulted when nomenclature changes are made to established gene families. Since human nomenclature is the standard for vertebrate gene nomenclature, the process of naming genes for rat begins with determining whether or not the rat gene in question has a human orthologue. If there is a human orthologue, the identical name is assigned to the rat gene. The same symbol is assigned, but uppercase is used only for the initial letter in the rat symbol. If there is no human orthologue, but there is a mouse orthologue, the identical name and symbol is assigned to the rat gene. If there is no human or mouse orthologue, the name that represents the function of that gene product is assigned. If there is no data for the gene, a generic ID number may be assigned as the symbol. When the gene sequence is similar to another gene sequence, the assigned name may be similar to XYZ gene. There are some exceptions to the rules of gene nomenclature. One exception is the case of very large gene families. Some families have so many gene duplications that orthologs are nearly impossible to determine. In such cases, like vomeronasal receptors, the names may be identical, but the symbols given to the genes from different species are different, so gene names with the same hierarchical numbers won't be mistaken for orthologs. Similarly, Pseudogenes are named with the species-specific numbers, so no orthology can be inferred from the numbering of pseudogenes in another species. Human pseudogenes also have different symbol designations compared to mouse and rat. Another exception comes from the fact that human nomenclature rules allow use of molecular weight designations and gene names, 
while mouse and rat nomenclature rules disallow the use of molecular weight designations. So, when a human gene name contains a molecular weight designation, the mouse and rat orthologs take the human name minus the molecular weight designation. Here is the example of a translation initiation factor for which the human name contains molecular weight information, and the mouse and rat gene names have eliminated that information. RGD reviews gene nomenclature on an ongoing basis, so if you are a researcher who has discovered a new rat gene, you may submit to RGD and obtain official nomenclature for your gene before publication. Gene nomenclature rules can be found on the RGD website, MGI website, and the HGNC website. You will also find this convenient registration form on the RGD website. We strongly encourage obtaining official nomenclature prior to publication. If you are interested in more information on biological nomenclature, the other videos in this series cover QTL and strain nomenclature. Thank you very much for watching this presentation.